Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I'm out here at Clayton Homes in Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm going to be touring the Magnolia 64, and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get into the video. Out here in front of the Magnolia 64, just wanted to show you the exterior of the home. Um, before we get into the front porch, let's go ahead and walk around to the back so you can see how many windows are in this home. Absolutely love the color. This blue is really, really pretty, really nice. So you got a transom window right there. And then on the back, I love it. You've got these three huge exterior windows that's your back door right there love it love it love it love it really nice so this is the back of the magnolia 64 just wanted to give you a good view of the back of the home okay all right so let's go around to the front and we can check out the front porch you guys sorry i'm out of breath it's windy i'm on the side of the road i feel like i'm screaming because the cars are so loud. So, all right, so love the shutters. Love the front porch. You've got a nice size overhang here and you've got a beautiful porch. Y'all know me, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I love a good rocker. I, I would love to put some rockers out here so we can sit in the breeze this is by the door let me go on the other side and this is the opposite side of the door so that's how much port you have absolutely beautiful now let's get away from this noise we're gonna go inside and see what the home looks like. Just give you a sneak peek. I'm going to shut the door and turn around so you can see the foyer area. That's your front door. So you don't walk directly into the home. You have this little foyer area here. I like the uh, home sign. I would put a really slim, narrow bench or table there and maybe a lamp for some light in the home. Uh, but this is a nice little way to greet someone without them actually seeing into your home. So that is the front door. Now off the front door, you have this beautiful living room area. You've got the fireplace over there, space for a nice size TV above. Just really beautiful. I'll give you a moment to really take it in. I, I love the natural wood on this open shelving. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Really nice. So this is the, the living room. Love the ceilings. It's got pendant lighting um, in the ceiling. I would put a ceiling fan versus a light. But other than that, I think it's beautiful. I also would make those beams the same color natural wood as this open shelving. But that's me. You might be a little more modern. I love a rustic farmhousey look. But one way to get rid of it is to do what they did and keep those beams white. So really nice really nice you got these three windows here letting in lots of natural light just beautiful love it love it love it they have a bench here which i think is a nice touch i would probably do the same that way there's an extra place for seating but it's not taking up too much space sorry about the uh smoke detector you guys we're in a a model home so really lovely really lovely so that's another view of your living room area now off the living room 
you have your dining room and kitchen. Really pretty. Those are those four huge uh, picture windows. Look at all the light. Now the lights are on, but it is really bright in here. So you have space for a huge table. Now this table seats six, but look how much more space you have right here. So really nice, really nice. And then here's your kitchen. Not a huge kitchen, but it is adequate. I absolutely love it. It would be enough for us. Now, it may not be enough for your family, but it would definitely be enough for us. I love that natural wood uh, island. And it also uh, is on the countertops. Absolutely love it. Love it. Love the stainless steel appliances in here. Love the backsplash. Really pretty. There's one of the cabinets. You've got a drawer for, is it soft clothes? I don't think so. No, just a regular cabinet. I'm sure you could upgrade the soft clothes if you chose. And then you've got your sink in the island, which by the way, you still have enough space on this island to entertain. So really, really nice really nice you've got storage over here really pretty very nice and then off the kitchen you have a pantry so here's your pantry let's open it and see how big it is really nice so you've got three shelves in here Lovely. So in addition to the storage, you have, do have extra storage space in the kitchen via a pantry. So really, really lovely. Okay. So that's the dining room and kitchen and pantry. Love the pendant lighting in here. You've also got a tray ceiling and a mini tray ceiling in the kitchen like you do in the living room. Really nice. And then look at these farmhouse doors that close off the laundry room. So if you have company and you don't want that open, you could absolutely close that and entertain. And then when they're gone, you can open it back and finish your laundry. Very nice. Love the long shelf in here. You've got three drawers and three shelves. You've got space for a stool. You can put a computer here and do your bills. Really nice. Nice size laundry room. Your washer and dryer will go on this side. I would probably bring this shelving to above the washer and dryer. Really nice. And then there is your back door. So really, really lovely. Nice size room. Like this laundry room is huge. Really lovely. So your laundry is off the kitchen. Very nice. All right. So that is the laundry room, kitchen and dining room. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is look at the guest bedrooms. Now off the living room, down this hall is your guest bedrooms. Okay. So the first room that you get to on the right is the bathroom. This is a guest bath. Love the huge window in here. You've got your sink and toilet over there. And then opposite the sink and toilet, you've got your tub and shower combo. Really nice. Now inside the bathroom, you have your water heater. So that's where your water heater is. Okay, that's not storage, that's your water heater inside of this bathroom but this is a really nice size bathroom you guys really nice okay so first room on the right is the restroom and then across from the red restroom is in a your one of the additional bedrooms really nice size bedroom you've got your bedroom and a walk-in closet. It's full of all the stuff that comes with the house when they deliver it. And this house is actually sold. 
So they pack are packing it up to move it, but this bedroom has a nice walk-in closet. And then you get all of this bedroom, really nice. So that's the first bedroom. That's your bedroom number one. All right, and then at the end of the hall and next to that bedroom is bedroom number two. So really nice, it appears to be the same size. Let's take a look at the closet. Another lovely walk-in closet, really nice. Love the size of these closets. Like you could put a desk and a computer in there. Really nice. So bedroom number two, what we'll call bedroom number two uh, is right here. And I'll turn around and show you again. So down this hall, you've got your bathroom and then two bedrooms here. And then if you open this door in the closet, that's your heating and air. Okay, so that's where they've tucked those. Uh, a lot of times you'll see them in the laundry room or in the, in the uh, master bedroom or whatever, but that is where they have placed those things. Okay, so now we'll go back to the front door so we can take a look. Right off the front door is the master. Now you've got another tray ceiling in here really nice and then all of this is master bedroom really lovely all right all of this is master bedroom first door we're gonna go to is the master closet again this house has been sold and all of this is packed up and getting ready to move but you've got all of this space as master bedroom so i'm gonna close the door so you can see back behind the door so you can hang tall long items there and then all of this space is the rest of your master really nice so that's your master bedroom you've got your attic right there uh, oh i probably didn't mention this is a modular home you guys this is not a mobile home this is actually a modular home this is the magnolia 64. you got another barn door here so you can close that off for privacy if you like my husband and i don't close doors but some people do but this is your master this is your master bathroom really lovely you've got your double sinks here love all the cabinets and drawer space Love it. Natural wood uh, countertops. Love these nice porcelain rectangular sinks. Really beautiful. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So those are your double sinks right there. As you can see, you've got cabinets, shelves, and open shelving. Cabinets, drawers, and open shit. Oh, it is uh, soft clothes. My bad. Did y'all see that? It is soft clothes. Okay, very nice. So those are, that's your double sinks. And then next to your double sinks is this huge walk-in shower. Absolutely huge. That's how much space you have in there, you guys. Love it. Love it. Love how the towel goes along with um, the bathroom. Love it, love it, love it. Look at this. This is where your soap goes. Glass right there. Beautiful, you got space to put shampoos and things up there. Really nice, love it. You got a pendant light in there, so you have lots of light to see what's going on. Your toilet is over there. Doesn't have a door, it's not a water closet, but you do have privacy over in that corner and you also have storage. So if you run out of toilet paper, you can reach around and get it out of the cabinet. <laughs> really nice. Then there's that transom window over this lovely tub. Love how they put the shelf in here. You could give it a spa feel with the way you decorate. 
really nice. Absolutely love it. This bathroom is gorgeous. It's a nice size. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So all of that is master bath. And then your master bedroom. Really nice. Now this home has vents in the ceiling, but of course you can always order these homes if you don't want the lot model. Very nice. So All right. And this is the Magnolia 64. It's out here at Clayton Homes in Wilmington, North Carolina. It's a three bedroom, two bath home. It's uh, 1,792 square feet and it's uh, home only price is $259,000. $998. If you're interested in this home, all the information is in the description box below, okay? See you in the next video.